Okay, this is a pretty important message to me. Forgiving doesn't mean forgetting. I was reminded of this when I watched a video the other day of a, a YouTuber who doesn't have that many subscribers, but she made a like a compilation of like life lessons she learned. 25 life lessons I've learned before the age of 25 or something like that, right? And one of them was this. Forgiving doesn't mean forgetting. Like normally with these videos, I'm like, okay, cool, that bit of advice. Yeah, I learned that. Yeah, I learned that. Cool, I've heard that before. I don't know what that means. This means like, I don't know what that, it, it, that must be relevant to her, but not relevant to me. But this one, I was like, oh my goodness, yes. Forgiving does not mean forgetting, right? And for me, that really rings true because I tend to be the person in my mind who likes to give people second chances. And so like go out of my way to help someone, even though they've like, you know, screwed me over a bunch of times. And I'm like, I don't know what it is that was within me that compels me to be like, oh, I, I want to help you. Maybe it's like a, a virtue signaling, like white knight complex thing within me, but I just want to do that, right? It might be a good thing. It might be a bad thing in my mind, like psychologically, if you analyze it, but Several times in my life, I have had people close to me or not so close to me, screw me over, and you hear the the platitude, is if that's even the right word, I mean like the, the saying, right? You have to forgive and forget, right? You have to forgive someone and forget that they even did it in the first place, right? If you want to carry on that relationship with them and in life in general, even if the person's your enemy or something like that, forgive and forget, right? Don't bring up old shit. Don't, like, bring up the past in any way. And, yeah, I kind of got it, right? But for me, it was a bit stupid to include the fact that you shouldn't forget, right? Maybe there's, like, a semantics thing here that I should, like, pass or, uh, you know, separate in my mind. But in this saying here, forgiving doesn't mean forgetting. It means that you forgive what they've done, but you're still wise to it. You'll be like, look, you've screwed me over here. I don't like it, right? And they'll say, oh, sorry, sorry, whatever. And you're like, look, okay. And if you accept the apology, you'll be like, okay, you've, you've, been sorry enough or whatever whatever they need to do for you to accept that apology and you forgive them right? you're like okay i forgive you but you've got to have it in the back of your mind and be like okay this person has done this to me in the past you can't act like it never happened that's just stupid right i think what people mean when they say forgive and forget is that you don't bring it up again perhaps Perhaps that's what it means. Like, if they never do, if like, if they like, you know, if they, I don't know, maybe they, let's make it a simple example. If they like, you know, stole money from you or something. Like, let's say you're, let's make it a very simple example. You're both like kids and they, your, you know, best friend stole like two quid from your piggy bank, right? And he apologized, he felt really bad about it and he never did it again. You live the rest of your lives until you're like you're 80 years old and you know to your deathbeds he never did that again right forgive and forget for me would mean that i would forgive that and it would i would never bring that up for the rest of our lives right i forget forgetting the fact that we were kids maybe we did that or the person did that to me when he was 20 or 25 but he, he didn't do it ever again and never showed any sign of it Never showed any sign of distrust or lying or cheating or stealing, any of it. And he actually improved himself, right? Then I, that platitude or quote would reign true. Forgive and forget. Like, as in, like, never ever mention it again, right? But I think that would only apply in this, like, very idealistic world. This kind of world of, you know, peaches and cream and rose petals and, you know everything's lovely sunshine and rainbows that's not the world that we live in I, d I don't want to like make this a pessimistic kind of thought to record here but what i what i truly gather here is that 
people don't change. I don't want to separate that from can and can't and do and don't. Okay, I've always believed that people can change. And the mistake I made was the implication that people do change. Right? I expected people to change when given the chance. But the thing is, generally, people don't change. Yes, they can, but most people don't choose to. It's a, an egregious amount of effort that it takes to be able to change the person that you are. So most people don't. And this is a piece of advice that someone gave me after I was, you know, uh, screwed over in a certain way. Right? And I was considering forgiving the person that screwed me over. And this person, she told me, Dylan, listen to me. I want to give you a piece of advice. And it struck me at the time I heard it. I was like, I remembered it to this day because it was a poignant lesson. She told me, people don't change. And it was especially ringing true because she had been through that kind of thing before as well. Like a very similar kind of screw over or betrayal or whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to go into details about this, but that's what she said. And it links to this. Forgiving doesn't mean forgetting, right? So even if someone does you wrong, it doesn't mean that you should forget what they did. You should be wise to it. You should be like, okay... I forgive you, right? But I still know what you did, right? And I'll still be wary of it. And I still, I still might act upon that, right? I still might, you know, choose to no longer be friends with you, for example. I can still forgive you and, and choose that course of action, right? I forgive you, but I'm not going to be friends with you anymore, right? That's still a thing you can do. Right? It doesn't, you don't owe the person anything just because you forgave them. Forgiving the person doesn't mean that you like you open up your arms to them. And it, it's the same as before, or even more. For some reason, the attitude of forgiving someone, it tends to be interpreted as this kind of like, you know, no holds barred, kind of just like, you know, fully accepting someone. Right? And because you've forgiven them, even certain times, people just like really take that a mile when you've forgiven them. They're like, oh, he's forgiven me. I I've gotten away with it. I can do what I want now. And it's just, that's really aggravating because it's like, it's taken advantage of like this empathetic or sympathetic part of you. And you just want to like care about them and help them out and like really just like give them a chance and they, they're like, oh, this person loves me now, right? And it kind of is like that, right? Because you kind of have to like, you know, reverse. It. You, you kind of like hate them a little bit. You annoy them a little bit. You've got to reverse it and be like, okay, I forgive you, right? I care about you. I know you're a human being. You're not perfect. And I just want to like, and it can go too far, like showing overly, being overly loving to the people that hurt you, even more so to the people that don't hurt you. It's like a psychological damage, right? I don't know what like makes you behave like that, but I've seen myself behave like that in the past and I've wisened to this so much recently. And recently I mean like years and like portions of decades. I'm not talking about like days or weeks here, right? And this is something that is quite tricky, right? Because... Sometimes these people are very close to you. And you don't want to put them in the box that says, okay, this person did this bad thing. And like the box generally is like a very vague termed box that says box of people that have done bad things to me. Right. And that tends to be separate from the box that's like, you know, people that I love and care about. And they might like mix. There might be like a Venn diagram here, but like, your brain tends to be more simple than that, right? And so if there's someone you love and care about and like they have been around you for so long, it tends to be so difficult for you to like label them in that way and just like act in the appropriate ways because they've been in this box for so long. 
they've been in this box of like, okay, I truly love and care about this person. I trust them with everything in my life. But now they've done something to screw me over and they end up in this box. Right, and it's just, it just, it, it screws with your mind. It just like really just, it's like, oh my goodness, this is painful for me to go through because it's just annoying. And it is, it's tough. It's tough. Right? And so I feel like the unpopular opinion here is the fact that you can just move on with your life, leave that friend behind, leave that, you know, girlfriend behind, family member behind, anyone behind, and be like, you know, look, I have no bad feelings towards you. I have no kind of, uh, what's the word, anguish? No, not anguish. Uh... There's a word for like bad feeling towards someone. I have no bad feeling towards you, right? I forgive you, but considering what you've done, I can no longer associate with you, right? So I'm just going to go over here and live my own life. That's fine, right? That's my controversial take, and I believe that that's fine because it just makes sense, right? Someone's past reflects how they're going to behave in the future, that tends to be a good inference to make a good judgment about who this person is going to be if you stick around. So logically, I'm going to get out of here, all right? And so my controversial opinion is that that's fine, right? It might be it might be socially acceptable with, you know, ex-girlfriends, ex-boyfriends or, you know, friends. But like people, like family, for some reason, that's like the... You can't, you have to go home every Christmas. You have to visit your family. You have to call your parents, you call your mum, you call your dad, brothers, sisters. Like, if someone's done you wrong, it doesn't matter who you are. Right, and it comes back to that expression, like, they say blood is thicker than water, right? But people, so few people know what that actually means or what the full expression is. The full expression is, blood of the covenant is thicker than water of the womb and so it actually means a reverse blood of the covenant means basically a covenant is like a bond or a promise it's a promise basically a covenant in this context is a, a bond that is a friendship thicker than water of the womb means like so if you shared a womb that means basically your siblings brothers or sisters right so blood of the covenant is thicker than water of the womb. Friendships are more important than your family ties, right? That's what the expression actually means, right? The relationships that you choose are far more important than the relationships that you don't choose. That is what that means, right? And so people tend to make this false link about family i'm not saying at all that family doesn't matter at all right of course it matters but to disregard all the bad things that a person does to you just because they're related to you is foolish right and it is difficult to look at it logically because there's so many emotions and psychology involved there it's difficult but you've got to you've got to look at this rationally and break it down and this reminded me of that kind of thing forgiving doesn't mean forgetting and so that's what that's the kind of controversial thought i have i don't know i want to just record it just to have it for myself and i, I don't know maybe i might put this up somewhere i don't know but that's my thought today Yeah. And it seems sad. It seems, I know it seems sad. But I guess there is a, a dark half of life, right? There's a bright half and there's a dark half, right? Where there is light, there will always be shadows. Right? 
And so like to to get to the life that you want, you have to cut out the people that do you wrong. So on the other side of this is the place where there are people who you love and treasure and bring a smile to your face and bring you up in life instead of bringing you down. People in your life can either be the wings on your back or the weight attached to your ankle. And there's very few in between. Right? Because even if someone's just neutral in your life, then they are taking up space that someone really cool could be having in your life. So in effect, they're just wasting space around you. And so there's still the ankle around your, or the weight around your ankle. So there is no in between. A friend to you, a person in your life, is either the wings on your back or the ankle. Sorry, let me say that again. A person in your life is either the wings on your back or the weight around your ankle. There is no in between. It's one or the other. That is it. And so that's what comes to mind when this phrase I wrote down a couple of days ago. I heard in a video, right? Forgiving doesn't mean forgetting. With that being said, I think that's all I have to say. Yeah, we'll cut it there. All right, peace. See you in a bit.